हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सुनील सर एंड आई एम बैक विथ अ न्यू वीडियो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट द बिगेस्ट कन्फ्यूजन दैट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हैव लाइक वेर द रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंडो न्यूक्लियस कट्स विच आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंडो न्यूक्लियस एनजाइम्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल दोज एनजाइम्स एंड विल बी गिविंग यू द एग्जैक्ट न्यूक्लियोटाइड सीक्वेंस वेर दिस एनजाइम्स कट सो वॉट दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट न्यूक्लियस बेसिकली इट्स एन एनजाइम विच कट्स अ न्यूक्लिक एसिड दैट इज डी एन ए और आर एन ए देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियस एंडो न्यूक्लियस एंड एक्जो न्यूक्लियस वेन आई से एंडो एंडो मीन्स इन न्यूक्लियस मीन्स द एनजाइम विच कट्स अ न्यूक्लिक एसिड सो एंडो मीन्स इट इज गोइंग टू कट द डी एन ए इन बिटवीन द सेगमेंट दैट इज वॉट इज एंडो न्यूक्लियस एंड वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एक्जो न्यूक्लियस सो वेन आई से एक्जो एक्जो मीन्स बेसिकली आउट एंड एंड ऑल्सो बेसिकली आई कैन से बिकॉज इन एक्जो न्यूक्लियस वॉट हैपन्स एट द एनजाइम कट्स द न्यूक्लिक एसिड from the ends not in the center but as far as biotechnology is concerned we don't use exonuclease we always use endonuclease and to be very much specific we don't use only endonuclease we use restriction endonuclease when i say restriction endonuclease it simply means one thing that it is cutting the dna at a restricted site means these are those enzymes which will cut the dna at a particular site only and if they don't get that site they are not going to cut the dna that is very important part to be kept in mind we need to understand that these restriction endonuclease ren produces two types of end blunt end and the sticky ends now blunt ends means it will be like an equal size both the sides sticky ends means it will be an equal cut the different types of blunt end enzymes basically are alu1 ha3 sma1 ecor Five, the enzymes basically which are producing sticky ends. It is eco R one, BAM H one. We have hind three, and we have PST one. We need to understand this: how these enzymes are cutting the DNA first, and second, why these different types of names are given. So when we talk about nomenclature, let's take one example and understand how the nomenclature is done. Here I will be taking eco R one. so the first alphabet will be always capital indicating the genus here it is ascaricia the second two alphabets will be always written in small and it will be denoting the species from where that enzyme has been extracted so here it is coli r stands for strain basically so we can say the strain is ry13 and when we talk about first it is the order of discovery first to be discovered so this is how nomenclature is done and most important student you need to understand all the restriction enzymes are always written in italics italics is the very common role you can say or the written form of the enzyme blunt ends we need to understand with respect to two things one the sequence second the name if i say alu1 so it basically the full form of alu1 is arthrobacter luteus one of the bacteria from where the alu1 enzyme is isolated now this enzyme is going to produce a blunt end so what is the sequence the sequence for alu1 is going to remain fixed so if the sequence is a g c d all will be palindromic sequence so when you read from left to right or right to left it remains same it is a g c t where it cuts it cuts between g if you look at very carefully all the enzymes they will cut at g only guanine remember this then we have h a 3 that is called as hereditary ngo dima so this is the name of this third to be discovered so we can say ha stands for hereditary ngo dima now how it cuts so it is gg cc site gg cc so it is right to left and left to right same and remember it is going to cut at g only so look at this wherever there is g it is going to cut it is going to produce two equal end that is what is called as blunt end next enzyme is sma1 now the full form of sma1 is it is seriata marsens first to be discovered so remember sma s stands for seriata and ma stands for marsens so it is again c c c g g g again c c c g g g so basically it is 5 prime to 3 prime c c g g and from 3 prime to 5 prime it will be g g c c forming a bond we all know between c and g will be triple bond and between a and t will be double bond so here again it is going to cut at the g so you can understand here in the center it is going to cut 
Next restriction in the nucleus is eco R5. So it is Escherichia coli Ry strain and fifth to be discovered. So what is the sequence here basically? The sequence is G A T A T C. And when you read from 3 prime to 5 prime also, it becomes C T A T A G. So it is going to cut at T. So remember, blunt end will always cut from the exactly center, producing two equal fragments. There will be no overhanging piece of the DNA. Very important. Next, what we have is the sticky end. So when you talk about sticky ends, sticky ends will produce overhanging piece of DNA so that it can stick to the other overhanging piece of the DNA. It's like a dominoes, you know, placing one above the other. Name and full form. First is eco R1, Escherichia coli first to be discovered so here the sequence is GAA TTC GA TTC 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 where it will cut again it is going to cut only at guanine so we have G here okay so from 5 prime G and both the end and now this is how it is going to cut and it will produce two ends that is the sticky ends so remember adenine and thymine will always have a double bond guanine and cytosine is going to have a triple bond we have the next one that is bar H1. Bar H1 stands for Bacillus amylolicufacian and H is a strain and first to be discovered. So BAM stands for Bacillus amylolicufacian. You have GGATCC that is the sequence GGATCC 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime where it will cut. Again it is going to cut at the guanine. So just remember this is the site from 5 prime it is going to cut from the guanine and you get a sticky ends the overlapping piece so this is how the two dna fragments will be separated next enzyme that we have is hind 3 when i say hind 3 the full form is haemophilus influenzae third to be discovered now the sequence that hind 3 is going to cut it will be a a g c t t remember a a g c t t and just reverse it right in the palindromic form you get the sequence of hind 3 now it is going to cut basically at A and A. So you have the 5 prime end cutting at this. So remember the sequence A, G, C, T, T that is for hind 3. Next enzyme that we have is PST1. Now when I say PST1 it stands for Providentia Stuarti. Providentia Stuarti is going to cut the sequence and produce sticky ends. The sequence that it will cut is C, T, G, C, A, C. So when I say C, T, G, C, A, C again forms a bond. And here what is going to happen? It is going to cut the DNA sequence from G. So look at this. Now this enzyme is going to cut at 3 prime end. Very important. It is cutting at 3 prime end and producing what? Sticky ends. So this is how the sticky ends are produced. Now what we need to understand here? We have this sequence. When it cuts, it produces two different ends. Now when it produces two different ends, these ends are called as sticky ends. So you can see this one part is separate. And the second piece of DNA separate. Both are overhanging pieces of DNA. So students, this is how you can easily remember the all enzymes and rent required for biotechnology. Friends, do subscribe, like and share. And there is a new channel which I have created in the name of Biology by Heart. Friends, link is there in the description box. Don't forget to give a like. Subscribe to this channel also, friends. Till then, this is Sunil sir saying goodbye to you. Thank you very much students. Keep studying for your NEET exam and you will become a doctor in future. All my blessings, love with you.